and the way we can go up down this and come up this straight up wall which the top of it is about 10 feet Yeah, I'm fine. Well, that didn't work. This is such a sweet section here. I wanted to, I had to turn around and come hit it again. Oh, and by the way, it gets pretty real at about three and a half minutes. So make sure you stick around for that. It's like a little water park. Right here. This is literally a water slide right in that rock. So cool. My kids would love that. Oh, look at that. There's more of it. It's like... I can do that. All right. Holy crap! That is gnarly. There's nowhere to go once you get up. So Garrett tells me that we can come down here, we can have the bikes here, and the way we can go up down this and come up this straight up wall, which the top of it is about 10 feet. It's not totally straight up, it's probably 70 degrees there. Here it's probably, well that's probably 60 and then this is 70, so it's not completely vertical, but Garrett says he's done it multiple times. The problem is there's no place to go up here. Like, like here, your front tire is hitting into that next ledge when your back tires are here, right? No, it's not, it's not quite any more room up there than that. So, the plan is, for me to stand here and try to grab the... Did you stand on this side or that side? Which side do you want me on? So I'm gonna try to catch Garrett up here. This is like a 10, I don't know, 10 foot wall. It depends on where you measure it from. There's no place to go up here, but Garrett says he's done it multiple times. All I have to do is stand here and look good. Grab the front of the bike if something goes wrong.
Am I in your way? Do I want to back up? Okay, and so right up, right up here. Okay, all right. This is nuts, dudes. A little bit, and I went too far this way. I'm glad I was here to grab it. I think I, I still would have been fine. I just would have laid it over, but it, it might not have gone down, but it was fun to grab your front wheel. <laughs> <sighs> right, up right up the V. And then my back tire basically land where it is now, but the bike's more upright. Now. Well, I'm just glad you're standing up here. Yeah. It's a win for sure. I've got your. I got it. I can get around it and start it walking over. Okay. Here we go. You got your camera going? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, that didn't work. That wheelied over. I've watched this and analyzed it so many times. All I really needed to do once I was up is chop the throttle and lay the bike over, let Garrett catch it. But I just started to fall off the back of it and then I grabbed throttle accidentally and the rest is history. But I was up, just needed to chop that throttle and let her let the front wheel down. Um, yeah. Um, let, let's let's just keep it up. I'm leaking fuel like a sieve. I don't, I don't have a. See, it's gonna kick me off the hill. When you're pulling on that, it twists the bike around and it's kicking me off the hill. Dang it. The freaking! I can't lift it all the way over. Totally shameless plug for my toe straps right here. <laughs> this kind of saved our bacon a couple times during this day. We actually used it three different times today. Available on dirtbikechannel.com right now. <laughs> It's in gear, it's dragging on the pegs. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. It's gonna fall down here, unless. One, two, three. Okay, let's rest for a second. Oh. Let me let you in on a little secret here. I'm looking at the time code of these videos and this happens before noon. I am still shooting video from this day at 5.48 p.m. So I've still got six hours of this ride left. And we will get into that here very soon. Hope you guys have a good day and let's leave a single track. Thanks. Oh,